Hello, welcome back to Bonners Music here in the UK. Uh, today we've got something really exciting lined up for you. Bonners has just been appointed an agent for the Rhodes Mark 8 electric piano and you can come and see and try it for yourself in our Milton Keynes piano and keyboard showroom. These pianos are handmade to order in the Rhodes factory, but we've done a deal where the manufacturer will prioritise orders placed through Bonners, so the waiting time would be less than if you order through other channels. And of course, by ordering your piano through Bonners, you get the opportunity to part exchange your existing gear against the new Rhodes. We're gonna take a deep dive into this incredible instrument, and I'm thrilled to be joined by a special guest. Uh, with me today is Jamie Bullock, who is uh, in charge of artist relations and sales at Rhodes. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here and show you all the features and of course the iconic sound that Rhodes pianos are known for. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the Mark 8 is the newest model and it blends the classic unmistakable Rhodes sound with some seriously cool modern features. So whether you're a studio musician, a performer or just a fan of that vintage tone, this piano's got something for everyone. Yeah, we've got a lot to cover from the unique customizations available right down to how the Mark 8 improves on past models. We're going to show you exactly why this is the electric piano you've been waiting for. So let's jump right in. Um, we're going to be going through the key features and tweaking some of the built-in effects. And of course, we'll be giving you lots of demos of the sounds that this iconic piano can produce. So this is a video you won't want to miss. Should we start right from the beginning? Do you want to give me, what about a little bit of history about how, how we've arrived at Mark 8? Right, so in the, you know, as, as quickly as I can put it, as, as you know, the Rhodes piano was invented by Harold Rhodes in the, uh, in the late 50s, yeah. uh, you know, using, using airplane parts, right, to, to, create, right? To, create, really? to, to create a miniature, uh, what was called the mini piano, yep. and he was able to teach 250,000 soldiers who were laid up in hospitals how to play piano, because they were bored out of their minds, right? Right, what a great story. <laughs> yeah, right. so, so, I mean, you know, the, the philanthropy of, of Harold Rhodes is, is quite astonishing. Yeah. And so he invented, uh, you know, a, 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 I think a 32-note version of this, and, um, and created a, a, a teaching instrument and a sound. And then he tried it again with 73 notes, right? And that enabled, uh, you know, the sound that you're kind of, you've heard of many records and what you hear now, mm. as it graduated and he became uh, friends with Leo Fender and yeah. they joined forces. And so you had that period of time where you had the Fender Rhodes. Yes. Right? Everybody likes to, that just rolls off the tongue. Everybody's yeah, just Fender Rhodes. Yeah. But in reality, it was Rhodes. And then it was Fender Rhodes for a, for a, for a brief period, about six years or so. And then when CBS came along um, and the piano was, was made successful by Stevie Wonder, Herbie Hancock, Patrice Ruchin, you know, many of these players, they built a 300,000 square foot factory in Fullerton, California. Right. And started pumping out a lot more pianos and you had the advent of the Mark I, the Mark I suitcase that had the speaker below. Yes. And the suitcase enabled that vibrato sound that you've come to know and love. Yep. Um, and then you had the Mark II, which was another, uh, you know, reiteration of it, and then uh, there was. So the Mark series started with the CBS era, did it? Uh, or, no, earlier or than it, that. That was a yeah. Okay. So, but there are many versions of the Mark One. Right. Okay. Yeah, many, many, and that's all up for debate with the historians. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> but to make it simple, let's yes. just call it Mark One Stage, yes. which is what this sort of looks like. Yes. And the Mark One Suitcase that had the speaker below and yep. the vibrato feature, the Mark Two. Uh, as well, and then there were some experiments with three and four that didn't quite pan out, mm -hmm. and then in the end, in 1984-ish, uh, you had the Mark V, which was yep. a stage piano that sounds absolutely beautiful. It's one of kind of the the holy grail of Rhodes for that time. Okay. In '84, they closed their doors and um, stopped producing the Rhodes piano. Um, Life went on. We can talk about this and that in yes. history, but we're going to go straight to 2005, and they uh, took a crack at the Mark VII. And so, um, so right when 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 Harold was getting his his name back legally yep. to to rebuild the piano, unfortunately Harold passed away. And so we, I happened to be living in Long Beach at the time, and I come from the piano business, and uh, we we rebuilt the factory in Long Beach, and I helped build the Mark VII. Did you really? I did. Right. Okay. Yeah, along uh, with a, with a great team, and we uh, we we came up at first with the four band equalizer, and we had a speaker platform, and we had yeah. vibrato done a different way. We had some wonderful engineers from Fender that helped us as well, and um, and that was there was you know it was it was a bit experimental because so much time had passed, but yeah. um, 
I would say the Mark 7 uh, was a brilliant stepping stone to the Mark 8. And so we, uh, we, we, we built that till about 2011, and then we closed our doors. Um, it was a, it was a, we were trying to compete in a, in, a, in a lower price range, which was very difficult for right. something this expensive to make. Yeah. So, uh, and then we, uh, lo and behold, we have befriended some some wonderful people in the UK who have taken the business and all that during all that time by the way our chief product officer was in communication with us uh, Dan Goldman oh yes I know Dan you know yeah. Dan and yeah. so Dan yeah. uh, Dan heads up the factory in Leeds which yes. is where our operations are now right and um, Dan is very much largely responsible mm -hmm. for the market that you see before us uh, today which is in my personal mm -hmm. opinion the best Rhodes electric piano ever made, um, and I've played them all, and I I own I, I own a few myself. Yeah. But I uh, I always gravitate back to the Mark Eight because it's just such a wonderful machine. Um, and then to add on to that a little bit about what the Mark Eight is and does. Yep. So you have you know you have the Rhodes DNA up here, right? Yes. Tines, tone bars, seventy three pickups, you know seventy three notes, seven you know all updated metal and wood. And electronics to uh, to further enhance what a Rhodes can do can be and do. We then enlisted um, Cyril Lance, the electronics engineer from Moog. Really? Yes, and he is the genius and behind our our electronic our preamp, which okay. contains. We'll go through all of that in depth and our effects panel. Right. Which we'll go into that in depth Good. as well. And then lastly, the key bed itself mm. is uh, the one thing we do not build in the UK. We uh, we, we we do this with Kluge in Germany, okay. who yeah. makes the Steinway Concert Grand. Yeah. So when you touch a Mark Eight, you everybody instantly responds, "My God, you know." It, never... It's amazing. I know yeah. it, it feels absolutely sublime. You know, I've got a Mark Two at home. And this is so much nicer to play. So much, yeah. <laughs> the response is just so yeah. quick and fast. And um, yeah. some people are like, oh, well, it doesn't quite feel like a Rhodes. Um, yet on the other hand, they're like, mm. but it's so much easier to play. Yeah. You know, it, and it's not spongy. It's not wobbly. It's, it, it's perfectly um, um, designed for a piano player. So you can do things, you know, now that you, could, that you couldn't always do on a Rhodes. You can actually play classical because it yeah. responds that fast. Yeah. Oh, and, a, and one more thing I'd like to add is that we, we changed the pedal design from the old rod. Yes. Which was, yeah. you know, pro problematic for, for many people. Yeah. Um, and now it, it, is, it looks, it's more like a little bit like the whirly design with a, a, a cable that, yeah. that, that controls the, the damper mechanism, which is, um, and now you can put the damper pedal wherever you'd like. That's right. Far more flexible, isn't it? Exactly. Um, yeah. Great. Yeah. So, should we? Shall we get into it? Yeah, yeah, let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I like to start on the on the left side with the preamp. The preamp is quite powerful. Um, you can really uh, uh, dial in all kinds of flavors uh, for the tone that you that you desire. So you know, right now we're we're, we're pretty well at zero. Right. Um, if you want that more um, abrasive uh, harmonic tone, mm. you know. Voicing a Rhodes is a whole art in itself, and you can go inside the piano and you can voice the height and distance of the tine to the pickup. You know, you can yep. the, 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 how, how near it is and how, how much harmonic and fun, mm -hmm. fundamental you get. However, our EQ is so, is so powerful that a lot of that you can dial in right here in the front panel. So if I were to jack up the trebles, you would yep. get much more. <laughs> Now, if I were to go the other way and jack up the lows, then you have the more of that mellow tone, right? So on the original roads, it was just a tone control, wasn't there? Yeah, it just tone. treble and bass, yes. and it was um, nowhere near as dramatic. No, no, this is like how, having multiple instruments. You can dial it in exactly how you need it. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I, I, I like to have, I like everything at about 2 o'clock for, for okay. me personally. And that's, that gets me kind of where I want it. 
Some yeah. people, sometimes I do it over here. Now, now, now you have, what you do have actually is a three band equalizer with a frequency sweep yep. in the middle here. So that actually also changed the tonality as well. Yeah. So, I, so a lot of people, uh, we put right about here and that's a kind of a desired. Subtle but different. Anyway, like I said, for me, two o'clock makes me happy. <laughs> it just sounds alive. You know, you can you can hear so many tones and layers of, of sound coming. Just well, I mean, you know that 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 that's a great a great point, um, Tony, because you know you have so many keyboards now and so many plugins now, and all of them emulating an electric piano yep. or a Rhodes rather. Um, but they, you know, they are still digital. Right. Yes. So, so, so the the range is uh, um, limited. Yeah. Whereas a, a, an actual tine vibrating a frequency uh, is infinite. Yeah. Infinite. Course, in, infinite possibilities on what it, what it's going to sound like, and and whether or not you're hearing something and you know the difference, your your bones mm. know the difference, and yeah, your eardrums yeah. know the difference. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> as an acoustic piano to a digital piano. Is yeah. exactly the same. Thing. You find with a with a digital piano that subconsciously you just kind of almost get bored of playing. You don't know why, but you just don't connect with it in the same way. Exactly. And this is an extension of how you're actually feeling, isn't the, it? You know, and I think anybody who's ever played a Rhodes or owned yeah. a Rhodes, at least I think most people have had my same experience. Mm. That is, whoa, this is inspiring. Yeah. This yeah. is this is feeding back to yes. me. Yeah. And because they're all hand built, then everyone's going to be unique to you. So once you yeah. own one, you and it, it, I felt it takes about five to seven days to start creating your relationship with it. And man, then you just go from there. Yeah. Added a dry filter. Let's yep. let, let's compete with the <laughs> guitar players, right? You know, so I like to like. <laughs> now, of course, I did that for dramatic purposes, yeah. right? To, re to, re to really get in there. Now, um, but you know, to emulate some of the older tones, you can go real subtle and have just a little bit of crunch in there, right? So, you know. So I play softer. And I play lower. So I can, I can induce that crunch with velocity. Yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, and I'll keep going. We added an envelope filter, right? So if I turn the envelope filter up and I turned yeah. in the mid gain in and the frequency sweep uh, to the left, I can control different parameters of the sweep, but this will get you basically uh, an auto wah. So. Oh, wow. Which is velocity Fantastic. sensitive as well, right? Uh, okay, I didn't realize the envelope was was linked to the EQ like that. I really exactly. Didn't, okay. And so, and you can you can adjust how much of that you want in the sweep. So right that people right about there is really nice. You yeah. can go all the way. That gets you right about there. Right about here, I like it. Or you can go the other way, where it's a lot a lot less. Mm. So you can give it as much or as little uh, sweep as you want. And uh, since we're since we're doing actually before I do that I'm gonna I'm gonna crank up a little drive as well and now that gets you to what like a like 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 a, the old um, fuzz wah yeah right Fantastic. <laughs> so. What this is kind of telling me is where we used to 
need to plug our roads into a combo amp mm -hmm. to get this kind of we, we, we As but, we keep going, yeah. you'll see how we've, our, our goal here was to answer the call to all the roads players that had, you know, four to six pedals yeah. on top. Like, let, you don't need, yeah. it's all, we, have, we built it in yeah. and it's all perfectly calibrated to the roads. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes it, you know, better. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And actually on that point, I noticed it's got uh, balanced outputs, isn't it, on the uh, the audio outputs? Right, we have XLR outs yep. uh, um, left and right, and we have quarter inch outs left and right. All of them can be used at once. So right, okay. uh, oftentimes when we're doing a show at a big theater, we'll yep. have the the XLR out to the to, to, to the front of the house. Yeah. And then um, some, some players like to have an amp next to sure. them for yeah. for you know if they want that the fold back is, yeah yeah that older monitoring um yeah. or you know but also you, you can also just have two monitor wedges and you can really get the stereo going sure. for yourself yeah as well as to the house and one thing that i've uh noticed you know this is this piano has been played by you know probably a hundred amazing artists here in london already mm -hmm. that i've brought it around to and while they also they all love it at the same time i always get a compliment from the front of the house engineers about how easy yeah. it is to mix Right. Okay. Whereas the vintage yeah. ones are a little harder yeah. to mix in the in, in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's come a long way as well. Um, and I, what I was going to add was that you know we also added so that over here on the left side you have the the audio outs. Over here on the right side we added two expression ports. Okay. So for the yep. first time ever you can connect an expression pedal. Yeah. To a Rhodes and control just about every parameter on the Rhodes. Right, okay. Which is phenomenal. So um, we're in expression port one right now, which gives us control over the volume and the frequency. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on frequency, and now the control of, of that is now in my foot. See, now I'm, I can just do it all in my foot. <laughs> And me, uh, you know, I used to be a you know a, a clav clavinet player, so yeah. I, I like having it in my foot. Yeah, you know, I like I like the control. So that at the moment, that's controlling the mid sweep, is it? Yes. So yeah. I turn, I, I, I put it on frequency, and so yep. that is what I'm controlling. Uh, okay. I can put it on volume. Yep. And now I will have control of the volume. Now I can put it on volume and frequency, and now I have a volume wah. <laughs> Expressive. Yeah, it's you been know. very well thought out, hasn't it? Yeah, you're taking an expression yeah. pedal to truly expressive, and yeah. I'm, we're go we'll go more into that in a bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off for the moment. And we're going to kind of get back to two o'clock where I like it. And we're going to go into what everybody knows and loves, the very pan filter, which is our name for our vibrato tremolo system. Okay. So um, I'm going to start with the pretty, what, 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 I, what I deem is the prettiest. And that's, mm -hmm. we added four wave shapes. So I'm going to start with the sine wave. So we'll click that on. And now we have... Uh, That's bouncing right and left, right and left, right and left. Um, we'll take that into square wave and you'll hear the separation there. You hear how that's cutting yeah. much harder? And I can increase the depth, of course, and have it cut even harder. Oh, uh, yeah. And that is actually most like the old suitcases. Um, this is a really fun one, the slope wave. Uh, it, it, it essentially adds a beat because of the way that it, that, that it functions. Okay. And uh, I'll do the same same thing, and you'll hear that you can. Uh, drummers love this one. I'll take a bit of that first. 
Creative, isn't it? Yeah, and you, yeah. you could almost like you know if I if I if you had like you know. Nice. And uh, you know we we, we it's, it, this is also we just um, sold one last week to to, to a prominent DJ, mm. and it was fun watching him take that into like you know bringing the roads more into the yeah. electronica age. Yeah. Because it can be now. It doesn't have to just rest in jazz and funk. There's it, it, it's cross genre that way. Uh, slope wave, which is it, you know it. I'm sorry, not slope. Triangle. Yep. Just up and down. And then back to sine. I'm gonna put it back on square square wave for dramatic effect here, right? Okay. And now the very the, so now you can take it faster than any of the vintage ones could go. You can take it, of course, very slow as well. But um, I'm gonna take it up real fast, and, you, and now that enters us into. Whoa. So you have you know essentially the world's first electromechanical synth. Yeah. Over yeah. in, right here at about uh, you know two o'clock again, yeah. puts us uh, into ring into ring mode. Right, and then I take it all the way to the max. That puts us in digi yeah. mode. Now, uh, to take it a step further, one thing that I love to show people yeah. is if I if I throw this into expression port two, yep. or if I had a, a, a an expression pedal that had dual outs, yeah, uh, I can now go here and I'm going to turn on the rate and the depth, and now I've got um, control of the vibrato with my foot. Take it up to the maximum expression. Is that to where? It's where you set, set it. You, okay. Right. Yeah. So you can set that. If I if I put it up to there. Yes. Now, but I, I'll have to ride it slow. Yeah. But yeah. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> but my hands don't leave the yeah. keys. <laughs> or you could do it, you know, much less and, 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 and kind of just throw it in where you want to. But it's in my foot. Yeah. Now. Instead of having to always reach. Yes. Which is right. something that was never available before. Yeah. Yeah. That is in a nutshell the just the left side. So, yeah. you know, if, if a customer ordered a preamp only and didn't want didn't order the yeah. effects, you're still getting quite a lot. So just to recap, then uh, the, the basic stock instrument is just the preamp pre only. Mm -hmm. Everything along to here, including the pan, the, is all stock. That's all there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the effects is, is extra. Yeah. Um, however, it's gotten so popular mm -hmm. that uh, very rarely do I sell a preamp only. Normally, everybody buys it with the effects as well. So we'll 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 dive into that real quick. Um, I like to start with the delay. The delay is absolutely gorgeous. Um, Take a listen. It's just an absolutely lush delay. Mm. Beautiful. In fact, uh, as I mentioned, that Cyril Lance built built all of these electronics, and you know, one of the most popular pedals in the world is the Moog delay pedal. Yeah. And he actually, and this is high praise, he said to me, you know, I actually like what I've done with the delay on this more than I like what I did with that. Really? Yeah. Which is huge. Um, and so you know you can you, it can it, the delay is it, it does everything with the feedback and the timing you can get um, really crazy with it right and it has a dry wet mix so yeah. I could really you know you can get into sound design here uh. and I can make it really out of control. Oh, 
also a lot of people ask, what about reverb? Well, if you if you if you lower this quite a bit mm -hmm. and and get it right about in there, then you're getting then you're getting some reverb. So. Oh. Right. So but it's just the, it's just the delay. It's just the delay masking module as a, yeah. masking as a reverb, yeah. but you you know you, you really can't yeah. get it. I, I love it right about there if I'm playing yeah. some pieces. Yeah. yeah. Um, but again, the delay is quite deep, and and all of these effects also have alternate functions that um, they have alternate menus that that you can access that we can talk about a little bit later, okay. but it, it's, uh, it's quite fascinating right. how, okay. much, how much is actually built into this that is a bit, you're just, we're just scratching the surface. Um, so the delay, again, with a dry and a wet mix, also has tap tempo. Okay. So you can, you can activate that if you're, you know, one, two, three, four. Right? Or one, two, three, yeah. four, one, two, three, four. Very immediate, isn't it? Hands on. Yeah. Uh, the phaser, I think, is absolutely yeah. lush. So you have that. Right. And that also has so many flavors and styles all in, all in there. With the rate and depth control again. And that can be uh, can be assigned to the pedal as well if you want it. Okay. Sometimes I do that with the uh, delay. Um, the chorus, uh, same, has its own unique sound, right? So. And these indicator lights are. To show the speed, the speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, each one is, is is yeah lined up that way. Yeah. And then the compressor. Yeah. Uh, so I love the compressor. It really adds a lot of meat mm. to the tone. So I'll do it without the compressor first. You know, like a. Compressor on. Wow. If you're familiar with compression, there's an alternate menu to put that anywhere you want it for any ratio that you want. Okay. Yeah. Um, and in a nutshell, that is the yeah. the, the effects side of, of things on the piano, the preamp side of things on the piano. And uh, one more thing I think I'll show just for any any doubters yeah. is that yes, this is a Rhodes, and uh, I'm going to lift up the lid and show you. Inside is is whoops, sorry, is how you've always known it. To be. Isn't that beautiful? Handcrafted in the UK. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And are any of these parts interchangeable with the old? Yes, Rhodes? yes, yes. You can put, um, we, we also have a parts uh, uh, department, and you yeah. can put any Mark 8 parts in an old Rhodes if, you, if you're looking for, tines are quite scarce. Most people need to replace their tines or get new tines. Yeah. We have grommets, um, hammers, uh, hammer tips screws, everything upgraded to a higher material than it was in the past. And um, yeah, please, if you're looking to upgrade your roads and you need parts, give us a call. We, uh, we'll take care of you. For the modern age, it's very unusual to see something that's engineered to this standard. Well, yeah, it? and it's... I mean, I think when we, when, we, when we came out, there was some gripe about the price, right? Because it's not, yeah. it's not cheap. Uh, but let me, you know, it's not cheap to build, therefore it's no, not cheap to no. sell. <laughs> You, you've, you've got to experience this because it, you've got to see it in the flesh because it, it yeah, then you, you're right, absolutely. You, I, do you know, even just putting it together and putting the legs in, yeah. you can feel it, yeah. how the, the, the craftsmanship in it is, it, it, it is a, th a real thing of beauty. Um, and I will imagine they're going to hold their value for years to come. Oh, because absolutely. It's, yeah. They're also all customizable. So this is one, this is, I think, one of the most beautiful mm. models available with the walnut shell and the smoke transparent lid. But you can get the lid any color you want. You can have the classic Tolex shell, which is, yep. um, which is great for, for the road. 
a little yeah. bit more durable for that kind of thing. Um, you can have the stand in black or silver. Uh, front panels can be black or silver or, or, or a combination. Uh, right now, this is a silver panel with, with black and black, but you can have a black panel with silver and silver or however you uh, want to okay. do it. In fact, just hidden down here behind us, I've got the swatches. Oh, the swatches. Of these. Yeah, so these are for the, the for lid, the, are they? The lid, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, so look at that, that's quite gorgeous. There's yeah, some beautiful ones there. Yeah. And we have, uh, I think we've rolled out, not even in the swatch yet, is some beautiful uh, new gold sparkle and silver sparkle. Oh, wow. Yeah, that we've, that we've brought. Um, yeah. Slip that back on. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's, it but it's um, it's creative because you've got all of this as well. So it's, it ta it takes road to the to, to the next level, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it I does. think you know it, we are a seventy five year old brand, yeah. and it's only natural that we continue to innovate. Yes, you know. But it's still kept true to the original. If you just want it to be roads with some chorus, yeah, you've got it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, t for all the purists, yeah. you can still make it sound the way you always wanted it to yes. sound. But for you know for the future, you can take that a step further. You know, yeah. and I think that's important for any brand to, to continue to innovate. And so, you know, the idea that Rhodes wouldn't would be is ridiculous. We we would, of course, we are we are going to continue to expand and grow and 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 push the limits to what we can do. Yeah, amazing. So, is there any other connectivity? Um, One thing, last thing yes. I'll add is that there is a USB on the side that you'll see, and that is for firmware updates. Okay. So that can you can yep. you can all, you can control uh, the the parameters on all of all the electronics that way. And we are also adding the ability to sync the um, the effects and the very pan to a MIDI clock. Oh, okay. Right. So, yep. you know, like like a synthesizer yep. with, with MIDI sync. Now you can do that yep. also with the roads because that part. Is uh, has connectivity that way. Oh, lastly, yes. One thing that 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 is wonderful that I use all the time is we added a headphone amp on the left cheek block. Yep. With volume control here. Okay. So um, so it still can hear everything in the panel except for the yep. vol the volume would be controlled here. And um, my God, you know, I advise anyone to sit with a pair mm. of, of good headphones. Yeah. And really get lost in in the ability of the Rhodes Mark Eight. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Well, Jamie, thank you so much for, for coming down and showing that to it's us. Absolutely it's, my it's, pleasure. It, yeah, absolutely amazing. And, and I urge you to just come to our Milton Keynes store and just come and have a play on it. You're very welcome because you've got to experience uh, what it's like to play such an organic instrument. It's, That's it. You know, if you're, if you're a pianist, you will appreciate what an acoustic, how good an acoustic piano is. If you've ever played Rhodes and then you play an electronic keyboard, it's never quite the same experience as playing a, a real road. So come down to our store and try it out. So uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, thanks once again for coming down. Thank you. For and uh, I'll see you in the uh, next demonstration video.